Hi, let's talk about the muscles of the posterior compartment of the thigh. So what you're seeing here is a posterior view of the proximal upper limb. So let's orient ourselves. This side is medial. This side is lateral. I know that because I can see, and I'll outline for you, uh, a large gluteus maximus muscle, and I could also see an IT band, and that IT band is going to be lateral. And I can see an area in here, kind of diamond in shape, uh, known as the popliteal fossa, which is the posterior aspect of the knee. So, now that we have our orientation covered, let's get into a discussion of these posterior thigh muscles. Uh, collectively, you've probably heard of these muscles as the hamstrings or the hammies. So there are three muscles that comprise the hamstrings. They are biceps femoris, biceps, two-headed muscle, femoris of the femur, the semitendinosus, and the semimembranosus muscles. So these muscles are innervated largely by the tibial division of the sciatic nerve, except for the short head of biceps femoris, which we'll just discuss. And they're provided with blood or supplied with blood by the deep artery of the thigh. So let's, let's get to um, looking at these individual muscles. One of the more prominent muscles, which we can see here, is the long head of biceps femoris. The long head uh, comes down laterally to form the lateral border of the popliteal fossa. Um, it begins uh, high on the ischial tuberosity so of, the, of the sit bone, and it is going to distally uh, attach to the head of the fibula, as well as the uh, lateral condyle of the tibia, so in this, in this area. So that long head is joined by a short head, which is obscured right now by the long head and also by the IT band. So if we can kind of look between the two, we can see some of that short head of the biceps femoris. That begins on the linea aspera of the femur and it joins with the long head to insert on the head of the fibia fibula and the lateral condyle of the tibia. This short head is rather unique with respect to the hamstrings in that it has a separate innervation and it receives its fibers uh, from the fibular division of the sciatic nerve. Now together the biceps femoris muscle uh, is responsible for flexion and lateral rotation of the knee as well as extension of the hip. We can see that uh, this long head here is really blending with this muscle, which is next to it. That, that muscle that's adjacent to it, but heading out towards the medial knee is the semitendinosus. The semitendinosus um, originates or proximally inserts again up on that ischial tuberosity and it comes down and it inserts or distally attaches to the uh, the medial aspect of the knee via the pes and serinus or the goose foot uh, the the pes and serinus has three large tendons coming from it so these are the distal attachments 
or the sartorius, the gracilis, and the semi tendon tendinosus. Uh, and these muscles are innervated by the femoral nerve, the obturator nerve, and the tibial division of the sciatic nerve. And so the, uh, the mnemonic here is Sargent, S-G-T, FOT, F-O-T, for the pes anserinus. But getting back to the semitendinosus muscle, that semitendinosus muscle, it joins the biceps femoris muscle in fibers. And so it's also going to be a flexor of the knee and an extensor of the hip. But owing to its medial course, it is a medial rotator of the knee, whereas biceps femoris is a lateral rotator of the knee. Our final muscle to discuss here as part of the hamstrings group is the semimembranosus muscle. The semimembranosus muscle can be seen coming down here. So that's the semimembranosus. It's kind of sandwiched between the semitendinosus muscle and we can also see the gracilis muscle there. Semimembranosus uh, originates up on the ischial tuberosity along with all of the other hammies up on that sit bone and it's going to distally attach to the medial condyle of the tibia but not through the pes anserinus. Um, like the semitendinosus it uh, when active uh, is responsible for flexion and medial rotation of the knee as well as extension of the hip and it's very frequently enmeshed with fibers from uh, both uh, semitendinosus and biceps femoris so these are the uh, these are the hamstrings and this concludes our discussion of the posterior thigh thank you very much